Hello, friend. I'm Pastor Danny Davis. Welcome to Winning Concepts. Today, I want to take a few minutes just to talk to you about kicking fear in the rear. Oh, let me say it again in case it didn't sink in. I want to talk to you about kicking fear in the rear. Now, I want to read a verse of scripture to you, if I may. Uh, in the book of Revelations, did you know the Bible tells us in Revelations chapter 21 who you'll find in hell? This is probably going to blow your mind. Uh, in Revelations chapter 21 and verse 8, the Bible tells us eight groups of people you'll find in hell. You know the very first one it mentions? The Bible says, but the fearful, the unbelieving, the abominable, murderers, whoremongers, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars will be found in the lake that burns with fire. I almost find it amazing that the first group of people God says will be in hell are fearful people. You know, I remember when I was a kid, when I was in seventh grade, I was a skinny, scrawny kid. If I, I, if I stood sideways, uh, uh, you, you wouldn't see me. I was so skinny. I was just a skinny, scrawny kid. And there was a great big football player. He was a ninth grader that started, every time he'd see me in the hallway, he'd slam me into a locker and, and knock the wind out of me. Well, I, I got to a point where I was so afraid of that guy, I was afraid I was going to see him in the hallway. Every time he'd see me, he'd just take me and smash me into a locker. And uh, he just had it in his mind. I was who he was going to pick on and be a bully to. Well, I went home and told my father, who weighed about 300 pounds, I said, Dad, this guy's uh, slamming me around in the, uh, in, in the school. And my father said, well, you either deal with him or you're going to come home and deal with me. That's the way my father thought. And I remember I prayed all night. We used to have to stand out in front of the school every, every morning, wait for the bell to ring so we could go in the school. I prayed all night. I said, God, if you ever help me, help me right now. I was terrorized. I was filled with fear. But the next morning, I went to school, and I walked right up to him. I said, if you ever touch me again, I said, I'm going to break your nose. I, I mean, I was terrorized, but I had to believe God was going to help me somehow and you know that man, that that young football player looked at me. He weighed twice as much as I did. He was muscle bound. He looked at me, said, "All right," and he walked away. And I never had trouble with him again. You see, I addressed my fear. Did you know the Bible says fear has torment? Uh, and the Bible says the fearful will be in hell. But let me tell you a little something I believe about fear. Once you become fearless. Life becomes limitless. The moment you overcome fear, life becomes limitless. What are you afraid of today? Whatever it is that is causing you fear, the Bible says fear has torment. Whatever it is that's tormenting you, you can overcome it. Uh, you know, in 1933, there was a Great Depression on in America, and Franklin Delano Roosevelt stood up at his inauguration speech, and he said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Let me tell you, friend, you can overcome fear. I want to share three keys with you to overcoming fear today. First of all, if you want to get rid of fear in your life, face it head on. That's key number one to overcoming fear. Don't run away from it. Face it head on. Key number two is talk big. Talk it up. Talk it up. Talk it up. Talk big until you get the victory over fear in your life. And the third key is never accept defeat. I don't care how terrorized you are, never accept defeat. Make your mind up. You're going to overcome that obstacle in your life. You can overcome fear. I'm going to give you a life key, very important life key today. And it's, it's uh, very simple. It's found in the Word of God. The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. Whatever it is you're afraid of today, from this moment forward, I'm Pastor Danny Davis, and I want you to start saying, I am strong. I am strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. You can overcome fear, and you will overcome fear.